Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and people are asking me, Yvette, can you explain the whisper method a little clearly when it comes down to that specific person? I get many people writing me saying they want their ex-boyfriend back or they want their ex-boyfriend to call them or girlfriend to call them or some communication with somebody specific whether it's a family member or a ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. So today we're gonna go over this very briefly and the only thing I'm asking for you to do in return is the like, subscribe, tap the bell, especially if you want more information just like this. Other than that, please join me on Sunday mornings live right here at My World of Metaphysics if you wanna commune with like-minded people. Now. Let's briefly talk about this technique and how you can use it to get that person to text you, call you, or come back into your life. Now, the first thing I need you to know is what is it exactly do you want? Do you want this person to text you, call you, or come knocking at your door? Whatever it is, be very clear about what it is you want this person to do. Okay, because we're going to use this and come up with a saying, a statement, an affirmation like call me, call me. Okay, or you know you love Yvette, go right ahead and call her, contact her, go by her house, whatever it is. I need you to come up with this ahead of time. The second thing is, which should be basically the first, is to know who you are sending this message out to. If it's someone you already know that's in your life, Please have that person face in your mind, the hair color, the eyes. Be very clear of who you are speaking to, okay? Maybe it's a fam family member that you love and you just want them to come back or call you, okay? The next thing it is, is that when you do this technique, I need you to see yourself the way you want to be in that person's eyes. If you think in success, if you think in beautiful, just see yourself at your best, okay? And I want you to see yourself basically as a ghost, as a spirit. Now, if you can't do this, it is okay just to see yourself doing this technique. Or maybe in first person where you're just seeing this person ear or side of their face and you're whispering this in their ear. Now, before you do this, I need you to find a comfortable place, a quiet place, you guys, where you won't be interrupted. I need you to either play some little soft music or you can even light a candle. Now, this is not necessary. These are extra tips because music has its own vibration. So does candles and their colors. For love or to bring in a relationship, I would use pink. You can use pink or you can use red. If you don't have it, you could always use a, a white candle and just use that because it's universal. And you can program it, you're putting it in your hand, stating whatever it is you're trying to do. The music should be soft, instrumental, whatever it is that's going to keep you calm. And if you don't want to do these things, you don't have to do it. It's just extra. It helps you get in that meditative state. So now, when you're sitting there in your, in your room by yourself, either sitting or lying, you're going to imagine the person that you came up with. And then you're going to see yourself as a lighter figure, maybe a ghost or something. Or if you can't do it, just however you want to do it. And you're going to whisper the statement in their ear. Billy, call Yvette. You know you love her. Aha. Uh -huh. Or Billy, text Yvette back. She texted you yesterday. You know you love her. Go right ahead and text her. Hey, Timmy. Hey, look, that's your cousin. You've been hanging around her for the longest. You love Yvette. Text her back or give her a call. Whatever it is, you say this in the person's ear as a whisper. Call her. Call her. Call Yvette. You know you love Yvette. Call her. See in this person's face, whispering this in this person's ear, you are sending out a vibration to that person. Now, you might be saying, Yvette, well, how many times do I say this? Do I whisper this? You're going to whisper it at least three times, everyone. Call her. Call Yvette. Call Yvette. Call Yvette. And then leave it alone. Now, once you do it, I need you to have yourself leave the situation and then move on. Okay? So, the only thing you're doing in this situation with this person is 
whispering in this person's ear or to them saying, you know you love this person, call them, call them, call them. And you're doing it as you're speaking for your own self. So you are the person giving this message and you are the person telling them to call yourself, okay? So it's, you know you love Yvette, call her. Call Yvette, call Yvette, call Yvette. Hey, look, you know that's your cousin and you love Yvette. Call her, call Yvette, call her. Or you could even say, call me Brad, call me Cindy, call me Billy. I am sorry, you are sorry, let's, let's make up, call me call me, call me, whatever it is. However you want to do this, be creative for yourself and see this person happy. See yourself as being happy, okay? And that's all it is. Now, if you want to take this to the next step, you can actually, after you do this, step out of this picture and see this person picking up the phone or texting or getting in their car to drive to that house, okay? Do not end it just let it be them texting them calling or them going to the house okay and then let it go i do for on these type of situations i say thank you god for the best of everyone involved thank you god thank you universe for the best of everyone involved okay and let it go now when it comes down to a specific person me personally, I might follow it up with another visualization of me being with this person. I might also follow it up with scripting saying, thank you, God, for blessing me. Tommy is back. Um, I am in love with him. He's in love with me. And I am very grateful. Whatever it is you want to do, I will follow it up with another type of manifestation and let it go. Now, you guys might be saying, now, Yvette, after you say it three times, what do you do after that? Let it go. And you can do this in the morning and at night for about seven days. If not seven days, continue it. And again, the most, the main thing that's going to be important is that you believe that it's already done and let it go. Okay. If it comes down to taking action, action would be getting out, going out, enjoying life. Okay. And look, this person might, or well, you might run into this person at a grocery store at the gas station and be friendly, be happy. Do not push the person away once the person comes into your life. And again, everyone, it is as simple as just whispering something in the person's ear from yourself as a ghost, whispering what it is you want this person to do. Call Yvette, call Yvette, call Yvette. Go by her house, make up, pay her her money and make up. Whatever it is you want to say, just say it and let it go and know that it is already handled. So listen, you guys, I just told you a super duper powerful technique called the whisper method that actually works, you guys. On this channel here, I tell you to either take action or I tell you to follow it up with some other manifestations like scripting, visualization, or releasing whatever's inside of you that you need to correct for yourself. So again, everyone, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell, but most of all, just keep watching the videos. Join me every Sunday morning live right here at My World of Metaphysics, where again, you can commune with like-minded people. Anything you want to know about My World of Metaphysics, look in the description and namaste.